Hey guys, my name is Sammy and today's workout is going to be full body on the Wonder Chair. I have one top, one bottom spring right now. If you're a little bit lighter or want more of a challenge, you can do one bottom, one middle, or to make it a little heavier, you can do two middles. I will say heavier springs for footwork is going to make it actually a little more challenging. So. You're gonna sit at the front half of the chair. I have a sticky pad here so I don't slide all over the place. Um, it's optional. Heels together, toes apart. Glue those heels together, actively push them. You can choose your hand position. They can be genied, they can be back behind you, uh, or they can be reaching up or hands behind the head. You know, you do whatever you feel helps you do the exercise to the best of your ability. I'm going to come down to my side, slightly in front actually, and press down through the heels of my hands. Drawing that stomach in, lift that pedal. Let's go 10 times. Ooh, gotta wiggle my toes. 10, nine, you're trying really hard not to bounce. Six, keep trying to come all the way up. Five, four, three, resist the way up. And I think one more. And then go to your arches 10 times here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change onto your heels. Pull those toes back. Same thing. 10. Oh, I'm gonna slip off on that. On that spot. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tendon stretch. Go ahead and step off. If you have a pad there, you can get rid of it. Hands go to the top of the chair, not changing any springs. Step one foot to the pedal, press it all the way down. And then you can come up, you can be either together parallel or heels together, toes apart. Your toes are not very far apart, two, three fingers. You want to make sure that your pinky toes are on the pedal. Hands go, don't wear jewelry, hands go to the back edge. And you want to get those shoulders forward over your wrist and then dive your chin to your chest. Now lifting those heels, draw your lower stomach in and push down through your feet. And now lower those heels, three, two, one, and lift three, pull your ribs up and push down through your feet at the same time. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. You're trying really hard not to rock your body here. Up, 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 lift, lift, lift. Good. Pause there. Go ahead and bring one foot behind you into a coupe. Open up that knee out to the side. So plug into the outer hip muscle. Equal weight on both arms. Down, 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 up, up, up. See where your shoulders are. Lift from your stomach. Good. Hold. Switch. Just three on each side. Down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up. Check out those shoulders. Good, both feet go down. Walk the hands back, step one foot to the floor and lift the pedal. Go into your 100. Oh, my eyes watering. You can do this on the floor or on your mat or you can do it on top of the chair. It's a bit more challenging on top of the chair. Make sure your hips are at the edge because it's challenging because your head has nowhere to go. All right, you go to your working level. It can be up, it can be out, it can be even lower, draw the chin to the chest, and pump, inhale, exhale, five pumps, inhale, exhale, exhale. You can stay just like this, or you can kick one leg up, inhale, switch, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, bring the legs together, draw those heels together harder, 
bend those knees, rock yourself on up. Very nice. Okay, so let's go into a half roll down. I'm gonna turn this way just so you can kind of see. You're gonna sit at the edge of the chair. Again, you can do this on your mat. We're just kind of warming up right now. So you're on the edge of the chair, hands behind your legs, sit up nice and tall as much as you can. This is gonna force your pelvis to be curled under, chin to your chest, lower down your upper body, and then exhale, come back up. Now, if you'd like, lift those feet a little bit and cup them. This heel pushing is gonna help get into the back body. Inhale to go back. Exhale to come up. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale all the way up. Very nice. Okay. Turning it back. Let's go into the um, pull up. So. You're going to put one foot onto the pedal, press it all the way down, and heels together, toes apart, very slightly or parallel. And your hands go to the back edge. My goodness, if this was easy to take off and put back on, I would just take it off right now. So, sorry guys, bear with me. Heels together, toes apart, come into where you were for your um, tendon stretch, shoulders over, chin dives in. Now, Pull the lower stomach in and anchor down through your feet and squeeze those heels. Now you're gonna try and lift your ribs straight up. And now push down and pull the ribs up as you go back down. And again. Try to keep using your stomach. And you're standing on your pedal the whole time. So you shouldn't have all your weight going forward to lift. Maybe you don't close the pedal, not a big deal, but you have to be equal weight between your hands, gotta wiggle, sorry, and your feet and take it back down. One more. And take it back down. Good, now let's go onto your heels together parallel. And turn the hands out to the side and look up. So now you're gonna rock and you're, I like this because your heel is on the pedal and the ball of your foot is on the wood and it's gonna hold the ball of your foot accountable. So you're looking at where you're going and you're gonna rock the hips back, rock forward and lift and down. Rock, make sure you're not sinking here. Rock, rock, lift. So there's a fine line between the butt being too far under and you being in this arch. So you want to lean the hips back, come forward, lift and down. Back, forward, lift and press. Really resist on the way down. So when you're up, you stay up and you pull the stomach in to press back down. Very nice. Step one foot, go back onto your toes, step one foot to the floor, and then carefully lift that pedal. Good. So it's a challenge to roll like a ball here, but it's a nice challenge. So, you know, again, you can do it on the floor or you can go for the challenge. Just make sure you don't roll off. So it's a much smaller rolling like a ball and you'll sit towards the edge. And let's grab behind the thighs because this is even scarier, okay? And pull into a nice ball, chin onto your chest, and now you're gonna roll back and up, okay? And again, inhale, exhale up. Now, if you want the challenge, grab the ankles, roll back and up, woo! And again, I'll scooch a little forward, here we go. And you go inhale, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale. Two more. One more. Good, and lower back down. Nice job. 
Okay, so take a breather for a second and then you're gonna do your ab series. Again, it can be done on the floor or on the top, completely up to you. So starting with your one leg stretch, again, you'll come back down and you want your pelvis towards the edge. Now one leg comes in and one leg goes out. Now, if you wanna worry about your hands, you know, when the right knee is in, the left hand's on the knee, the right hand's on the ankle to help hug into your midline, but you don't necessarily need to, okay? Okay, now inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Remember that knee coming in is just as important as the leg that's going out. Inhale, exhale. Good, let's go into your double leg stretch. Inhale, reach out, squeeze your sides, chin down. Exhale, come in, open those knees and get your ankles up in line with your knees. It's gonna help keep your pelvis down. Inhale, go parallel, squeeze the legs. Exhale, come in. And again, inhale. Exhale, in. Now option two, reach up. Circle, curl up as you circle. So what you wanna make sure doesn't happen is this to circle those arms. So you're trying to reach wide in your back to circle. And again, inhale, exhale. Good, now option to let the head go back. Exhale, just one more, if it feels good. And bring yourself up. I love that because I got adjustments all up and down my spine when I went backwards. Okay, let's move on. So let's go into one middle spring. And when you change your chair, you always want to hold from the side to change the spring. And you always put the one on before you take one off so that it doesn't ever have nothing on it. Um, very important, because this, this pedal will just slam down, so you want to make sure you're holding it. Okay, <laughs> back to focusing, what was I going to do? Okay, spine stretch forward. There's different variations of this. You're going to come onto the floor, and you're going to open your legs, and I'm just, I'm going to stay a little narrow for right now, but I'm just wide enough so that the pedal can go down. And then you want to sit back far enough so that you have to reach forward to get the heel of your hand on the pedal, but you're still pulling down through here. So you actually have to stretch your spine to reach for that pedal. And you want it to be a little challenging. So inhale, exhale, bring the chin to your chest and press down, but pull the ribs up and go over and come back up. And again, inhale up, exhale, go forward, and come back up. Inhale up, exhale over. Inhale, one more like this. Exhale. Good, so now you're gonna scoot in. You can go a little wider um, as so long as you're in you know, even on both of your sits bones. So you're gonna sit up tall and you're gonna go ahead and grab it with your heel and your fingers. Make sure you're pulling with your fingers and pushing with your heel of your hand evenly, flexing those feet. Inhale up, exhale. Now you're gonna pull down this way. You're still opening your chest, but now you're pulling your ribs backwards and then inhale back up. Exhale, down through the shoulders down to the back, pull the stomach in, exhale up. Again, I'm sorry, inhale up. Exhale down. 
And up, one more. And come back up. All right, so for the teaser and the monkey stretch, you're gonna scooch forward and you're gonna bring your legs on top. And then you're gonna place your hands onto the pedal. I have super short legs, so if I, you know, sitting on a little board, would on a kuna board would probably benefit me here. Um, but I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so your heels are on top. Go ahead and cup those feet. Find the backs of your legs and your stomach. All right, so you're gonna press the pedal and lift the legs, opening the chest. Lift the pedal up and then put the legs down. Now, a lot of times people feel this a lot in the hip flexor, so you can rotate out if that feels better for you. And press and lift and then come back up and you're lifting that chest to come back up. Do it again. I'm actually gonna stay turned out because my hip flexors are bugging me a little bit. Now open the chest, chin down, press. Lift first, then lower. Last time, press and lift. Lift, clear the pedal, lower down. Now, depending on your chair, mine has these ridges on the side so I can pull on them. You're gonna lift your body up. Think belly button to thighs, chest to knees, forehead all the way forward and come back. And again, push this away. Just a, all right. And lift and pull your spine up your legs and stretch. And come back and swing your legs all the way around. Let's go into a long back stretch. So you're gonna sit facing the opposite direction reach back you twist your body a bit and push it all the way down hand palms face forward now again you can be in a pilates stance if you need to but i suggest parallel here and if you feel a lot of weight in the backs of your legs pop your knees up a bit and then pull your butt and heels together so you can activate more of the back of the legs okay so pull the stomach in lift the chest you're going to lift the pedal Try to keep your back wide as you lift the pedal. Press it down, exhale, grow taller. And again, lift. Equal weight on both hands. Exhale, press and grow taller. And again, lift. And press. Now you're gonna lift the pedal, dive the chin down and go forward and bring those elbows back a little bit more. Press and roll your spine back up. Dive the chin down, go forward. And come back up, take your time here. Last one. Now hold it up and roll your spine up, get a stretch. Press it down, flip the hands the other direction. So you might find one is healthier than the other. I'm gonna put my thumbs like this. Okay, so you're lifting, try to keep your back wide first, and then press, grow tall. Again, wide, 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 so those elbows don't have to crunch in right now. Press and grow tall. And one more. Press and grow tall. Bring the chin to the chest. Lift as you go forward. Now rotate. Bring those shoulder, those elbows towards each other and dig your chin into your chest. Press and roll it up. And chin down. Press and roll it up. One more. Now keep it up and roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Press it down. You can go ahead and let go of one hand, turn to the side and carefully lift it up. Nice job. Okay, let's do Flying Eagle. I'm hoping I'm still in picture. So your arms reach up and you ideally want the pedal closed. Um, if it doesn't work for your shoulders and you have to press down a little bit, fine, but just keep in mind that the more you reach from your back, the better it will be. You can put your forehead down or option to turn your head. 
if it feels okay for you. Really strongly tighten up the lower half. Press your hip bones down. Now you're gonna press the pedal down, pull the stomach in and open the chest. So you're gonna press and lift and now pull, press down hard and pull your chest forward. And then pull the stomach in, dive down and turn the head. Again, go, press, lift, and go. If you feel it too much in your lower back, you're losing some of your stomach, okay? So that's kind of what I have to focus on, that lower stomach. And up and out. And I moved my chair a little bit, be careful there. One more, up and over, good. So go ahead and let go, press back onto your knees, find a child's pose, but make it active so that you're not just getting into the hips, you wanna pull under and decompress your spine. Good. Roll your spine up. One more thing, pigeon. So you're gonna to come to the back and you're gonna bring one leg up, and you're gonna have your knee and your ankle in line, and then this back knee, let it come down to help anchor your hips, especially if you're really tight in your hips, like moi. Reach it up, and fold over, hands to the pedal, and then press, and come back up. Again, press, And up. Take it down. And up. One more. And come all the way up. Stand, so I have my left foot up, whatever one you have, your back leg, you're gonna stand on it. Straighten your front leg, square off your hips, and point the foot and fold over. Now flex and point. And make sure you're right in the middle of your heel. This one, so you're not rolling out, you're just parallel. And fold. Good balance challenge if you should take it. Reach all the way up, out to the side. Lift the leg up and down, up and down, up, bend the knee, bring it in, put it down, other side. Okay, so, get that knee up there, reach it up, take your body all the way down, and press, and come back up, and again, press, And up, lengthen over, and up, exhale down, inhale up, sorry if you can't hear me, I'm used to wearing my mic, I'm trying it over there, so I really hope I'm not speaking too quietly. All right, you're gonna stand on your back leg, straighten out the front leg, stretch over, you're parallel, look at your hips, make sure you're squared. And you're going to point and flex. And you want to be in the center of your heel. Hips are back, big stretch. And then balance challenge, should you take it? Arms come up and out, grow tall. And lift and lower. Lift, bend, come all the way in, passe. Lower it down, roll your shoulders up and back. You guys are all done. I hope that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Please leave in the comments any videos that you would like me to make. I'm happy to do it. I just need to know which ones. And I will see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.